Hi everybody. Welcome back to Mr. Teddy's Pre-K. Today we're going to read a book about a friend of Mr. Teddy's. Yes, I'll tell them. We're going to read a book about Bear. Bear is Mr. Teddy's uncle. Yes. Now we've read a book about Bear before called Bear Once More. Let's read the second story about Bear, but it's Bear at Christmas time. Are you in the story, Mr. Teddy? Oh, that's okay. It's just about your uncle. All right. So sit in your chair and let's look at this book about your uncle. The book is called Bear Stays Up for Christmas. The book was written by Karma Wilson and these beautiful pictures were drawn by Jane Chapman. I see Bear and I see his friends the same characters that were in our last bear book. I see a rabbit and a mole and a beaver and a mouse and a bird and a badger. Crow, do you see them? Let's read Bear Stays Up for Christmas. Are you excited about Christmas coming? Me too. It says the day before Christmas, snuggling on the floor, Bear sleeps soundly with a great big snore. There he is, reading, or sorry, sleeping in his den. A den is like a cave where the bear lives. Dear bear, get up, shouts Mouse. You can't sleep through Christmas. All his friends were there. Do you see them trying to wake him up? Finally, he woke up. He stands with a stretch and a great big sigh. I hope I can make it. I want to try. Don't worry, said Mouse. It's all right. We'll keep you busy all day and all night. So his friends sound like they're worried about Bear. They don't want him to miss Christmas, right? Bear tries to lay back down. But all his friends frown, so Bear stays up. Do you see his one eye open, one eye closed? Bears usually sleep through the winter. That's called hibernating. But they don't want Bear to sleep through the winter. He would miss Christmas, right? Come on, says Badger. Time to follow me. In Pine Grove Glen, there's a fine Christmas tree. So look, they take their friend Bear outside to go check out this beautiful Christmas tree. They plodded through the snow and Bear stayed up. There's all the friends. All the friends. And look what's on Bear's back. The Christmas tree. So he's helping, he's carrying the tree, and it's keeping him awake, isn't it? Back at the cave, Gopher is making tea, and Mole pops corn to put on the tree. Look at that. They're making popcorn, and then they put it on the tree. Sometimes folks use popcorn to decorate Christmas trees. Did you know that? Uh-oh. It says Bear's shoulders are starting to droop. That means he's getting tired, but he stays up. Look at all his friends. They're looking at him. They're paying attention, trying to keep him awake. I don't know. Do you think it's going to work? Let's see. They hang up their stockings, it says, by the firelight. They sing Christmas songs like Oh Holy Night. They cuddle and sing and they wait for the sun. Ooh, these are some good friends, aren't they? They're trying to keep their friend awake so he doesn't miss Christmas morning. But when all the voices faded to just one, guess what happened? All his friends fell asleep and the only person awake was Bear. Check it out. Look, Mole's asleep, 
badger, rabbit. Oh my goodness, everybody's asleep except bear. Isn't that funny? Bear giggles and grins. He works and he wraps. He's wrapping presents while his friends are sleeping. He piles up the presents under the tree, but who's at the doorway? Bear doesn't see. There's somebody else new. There's Bear. He's wrapping presents. There's his friends all asleep. And who is that, my friends? Is that Santa? It is. It's Santa. When Christmas morning comes, so lovely and white, Bear's friends wake up to a beautiful sight. Presents and goodies stacked up tall. I stayed up, says Bear, to share with you all. Look at that. While they were sleeping, Bear got everything ready. Isn't that beautiful? Now his friends are awake and happy. It says they lay by the tree, but Bear still stays up. Look, they've got their presents. They've got all their goodies, all their yummy food. Looks like they're having a beautiful Christmas morning. I just noticed something. Look in the very corner of this illustration. I see another Christmas tree. Do you see it? It's teeny, teeny, tiny for the little bird. Isn't that cute? When you look at the illustrations, always check all parts of the page. You might find some surprises like that. Wren, which is a bird, flies to the stockings and tweaks out a cheer. Beside our bear's presence, Santa was here. They open all their gifts, but there's one last surprise. Badger shows Bear a quilt just his size. Look at that. There's a quilt or a blanket just the right size for Bear. Bear snuggles up tight and he says good night. Then Bear falls asleep.